All right, so me and my image bear bear are uh, here to offer some hope. Uh, lament is a heavy topic. Injustice is a heavy topic. Um, but there's a reason lament is good, and there's a reason uh, we've wanted to walk this journey together. Uh, and that is because um, lament, the fact that we lament points to the fact that we have hope, right? Our lament, whether it is over our past and our upbringing, our religious experience, the state of the world, our lament that says this isn't right, the reason we can say it's not right is because we have an image of what is right. Uh, I told you we were going to look at scripture from beginning to end, and so we end our time in Revelation. In Revelation uh, chapter 21, at the very end uh, of John's vision of the heavens, he says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea, which signified death. And anyway, um, in verse 2 of chapter 21, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven. For God prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for husband. Then it says, I heard a loud voice from the throne, the royal imagery, saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Our cries of lament will come to an end, because there will be no more death or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. It's saying that the world will get back to, we will be living in an existence that is what God intended from the very beginning, um, living present in his rule and reign, a part of his family as his royal priesthood, as image bearers in the presence of God. Verse 5, it says, He who is seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Write this down for these words are trustworthy and true. And then it ends in chapter 22, verse 4. It says, they will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. And that's not some conspiracy theory about name on the foreheads. That's coming right back to that image of uh, being an image bearer, right? Of God, that we carry God's image. This is saying that we will see God face to face and his image will be placed upon us as present as a name on our forehead. That's how present God will be. And he'll wipe away every tear. And so the reason we lament is because we have hope. Because we have hope that we can experience pieces of this today. We have hope that when we lament, and when we offer personhood, and when we move into the broken places of the world, that we can see glimpses of God's kingdom, that we can see lives restored, that we can taste um, what God has for us, and that we know our future hope lies in presence with him. So friends, lament is important and it is good because we lament because we have hope, not because we don't have hope. And so uh, what we hope is that you carry that with you through this, that these practices of lament become a regular part of all of our lives, uh, and that ultimately they give us hope, that they turn our faces to God in honesty and in truth and in looking towards what he is doing and what he wants to do in the world. Thanks for letting us be a part of your lives uh, and this journey together these last few weeks.